again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So today we're just going to show you three different ways of how we are tying our crabs. So this is the first way in which this is what we have been using on our farm and you're going to need some string to do this. So the first step includes um, putting the string under its carapace first, only then use push the claws back into their mouth and loop the string under their claws to secure the claws. So this uh, is actually done twice to make sure that the crabs uh, do not loosen up from this uh, knot. So after securing twice, you run the strings through its, under its swimming legs and you tie a knot here. So as you can see, this method doesn't take actually more than 30 seconds. So we have actually intentionally done it slower here to illustrate the point. So this is how we've been tying it. So in total for this, it actually used about 30 seconds to tie the crab. So note that the crab is actually sedated. So you need to be extra careful before you do it. So for the second method, you're going to need a probably longer string. So how much longer? We actually did a quick measurement uh, for the string. It's actually about 31 inches of string length. So you want to be keep it slightly longer so that you can uh, have some excess uh, string. So the first thing is also looping the string under its carapace followed by a one loop beside the claw. And this is the difference between the first and the second technique is you do not loop the string under its carapace to the swimming leg and you tie it behind the flippers like this actually. So based on our observation, this is the technique that we use to uh, do it when we first started the farm. Crabs tend to, to be able to escape from this knot, hence making it not so stable, although it can be pretty fast. As you can see, this method also yields about a 37 second uh, timing for the knot. So for the third technique, uh, you're probably going to need a longer string, longer than 31 inches, uh, because this knot is a bit more complicated and it's typically used in Indonesia where there is a lot of crabs coming in. So the first way is also the similar. You always loop the string under its uh, carapace first, right? So you do that first. And for this technique, you loop it under the claw as well. And this is a good time to attempt to bring the claws back in here. Okay, so... This is relative, quite similar to the second technique where you run the strings under under its swimming legs and tie a knot here. So in to secure the knot to prevent the crabs from escaping, what usually people do at this point is to tie a dead knot here in which the string is used to look over the other side as you see over here. So this serves as a two purposes, mainly the first knot is to secure everything in the crab and the second one you see over here is to make sure everything is tightened because over during the transportation process, crab will actually move around and there's a chance for it to be able to escape from the knot and hence cannibalizing other crabs. Another notable difference when handling crabs tight like this is you are able to hold the crabs from this what we call this small little bridge that's uh, conducted over here. So your total you can cut off the excess string with these techniques. So as you can see, this method takes the longest, that is 65 seconds, but it's probably the most secure way of a uh, tying method. So the first method looks like this. As you can see that the claw can still it can still move around its claw. Whereas the second method, yes, uh, is quite fast as well, but you can see that it's not very, very secure. And this is the third method in which is the most secure, but it also takes the most time to tie. So that's all for this video. We hope to see you again. And thanks again for visiting us at RS Agriculture.